Caesar, Man Made Multimedia. How are yeah. you? Just fine, thanks. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Yeah. Well, it's a fun day. <laughs> it yeah. is for yeah. you, definitely. My God. All of a sudden, all the attributes are coming your way. Well, this is not an attribute, though, for me. This is, uh, I have the honor of giving an award to the producers of Serving in Silence, uh, the Lambda Liberty Award. And so the excitement is for me to be able to to uh, give them that award on right. behalf of Lambda, uh, right. who have been, of course, my legal team right. since the very beginning. Right, right, right. But, are we? If it wasn't for you, there would be no event. I mean, well, I mean, there's that ripple, <laughs> ripple effect. You know, we can all take uh, take credit or blame, right. however it is. Exactly. Yeah. A little bit of background. Where were you born? Uh, Oslo, Norway. Right. Uh, immigrated in '51. Okay. Uh, joined the military in '61. Uh, served active duty for seven years, okay. uh, four-year break because uh, women couldn't have dependents. Uh, joined the Army Reserves and was in that for 15. And then the National Guard for a couple of years before I was separated. And then back in the Guard uh, now for uh, almost a year and a half. Amazing. And then this might be a little bit of a tricky question, but are you happy it went the way it did as far as you know the ending all of a sudden you know well there. there is no ending i mean uh my reinstatement was uh you know by the courts right. and what's been created is a law don't ask don't tell don't right. pursue right, right, right. there are thousands of people serving in the military today or still dealing with the onus of the prejudice right. the the witch hunts the fear of loss of job and livelihood and until that policy is overturned and Lambda is again involved in those court battles, uh, there's not going to be equal rights for all of us. How is, how is Lambda accepted by the quote-unquote system? Do they respect it? Well, I, I don't know. I, I know that the end result is what speaks for itself. Right. This is an extraordinary legal team of people throughout the country right. who are fighting for the rights of gays and lesbians, right. uh, everything from the military to their job to their right. children. And uh, so it's an extraordinary powerhouse. Uh, of, and if not only do they have their own team of attorneys, but they have cooperating attorneys throughout the country. I see. Um, I see, I see. I'm a, and then also, too, I have a question for you. Was there any just one specific person that you just wanted to shake and say, wake up? Look at what you're How about doing. Sam Nunn? <laughs> How about it? <laughs> Strom Thurmond? <laughs> Boy, did I ask the right question? Yeah. I mean, it's and yeah. now Colin Powell. I mean, it's it's all one and the same. You know, you hide your head. You work with people right. of all sorts of backgrounds right, 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 and right. sexual orientation every day, and then you have the audacity right. to say that you know there might be something right. to fear. Right. Right, 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 right. That's yeah. amazing. And a little bit about Miss Close. Did you did you have the opportunity to work with her as far as the whole? Well, we even before the movie, uh, she uh, was on the phone. Uh, she read the the draft of the book uh, and then had apparently seen me testify at the nun hearings because when I came home from that hearing, uh, there was a telegram waiting. Uh, from Barbara Streisand and Sis Corman uh, congratulating me on my testimony and saying that Glenn Close had agreed to play my part. So, uh, I mean, it was all sort of put together. And we, uh, both Diane and I, were up on the set in Vancouver when the, when the movie was being shot, and I had to do a little bit of coaching on how to be right. a soldier, right, 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 right. you know, and, and that's, that was fun right. because she was very quick at figuring out that you can't be a diva when you were right. being a soldier. There's a lack of congruence right. and, and uh, she was just an extraordinary human being to work with. It was like, you know, a neighbor that right. you like right, right, that right, lives right. next door right, right, right. and uh, there is just a humility and a humanity that, uh, you know, I hope to emulate. Right. Right. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Well, that's quite a compliment. But she seems to be a very warm woman, and hopefully, I'll get the chance to interview her as well. Yeah. Closing thought, as far as yourself is concerned, um, what is the next step for you? What What things are you going to be, you know, backing? Or well, I think, uh, you know, uh, certainly my career, both in the military, I'm waiting until the appropriate time to retire from the military. Right. Uh, and retire most likely from the VA and from nursing because I really feel as though this has spurred me on to uh, something more important. Right, right, 
in terms of the human rights issues and um, perhaps a place where I can do some good. Uh, and, and so that's, I, I, I don't have it defined. It's right. just there, not quite tangible yet. Right. And, just follow uh, it yeah. and, and it's an exciting place to be. Right. Well, lots, lots of people are looking at you and lots of people are definitely proud of you. You know, if anything, I would even imagine that some people would even like to, you know, reflect their own selves the same way that you do, but just don't have that courage. Well, I think, you know, it's important to remember the context in which all of this happened and that we had opportunities along the way and, and found the support that we needed and really the, the struggle took on a life of its own. Great pleasure. Shall I call you Colonel? Well, you can at this point. <laughs> but pleasure. Thank you. All the very okay. best. Thank you very All much. Okay. Thank you.